Uh, well, hello everybody and welcome back to Herds Hill Gourmet Tricks and Treats and it's jam making time of year again uh, and we are coming right to the very end of the season and for those of you that have been following us on Facebook you'll know that I harvested these strange things about three weeks ago and if you take a closer look at them they're really very, very strange. Some of you may recognize them, some of you may not, but they are in fact meddlers. And they're thought to be our oldest surviving fruit. In fact, they probably came from Iran or Syria or Turkey in that region, but certainly they were used by the Romans 700 years BC, and now we're growing them at Herds Hill. Uh, we've had a bumper harvest this year, uh, and uh, I've gathered quite a lot. This is just a few here, but they are completely inedible in their natural kind of picked form, harvested form. You have to leave them to become what's called bletted, and that's a word which is purely reserved for this process uh, with meddlers. And for a simpler word, you might use rotting. Uh, and in fact, it doesn't sound like a very nice word, but it's the process of allowing them to ferment in a way so that the sugars begin to work on the fruit, which makes them very, very sweet. So they have a taste of uh, sweet apples and honey combined. It's a really, really lovely, sweet flavour. And here, some of them are already well blettered. So if you come and take a look, there's the raw one, or the natural one, very, very hard, like a golf ball. And here's one that's been blettered. And you can see that as I press it, you can see how soft it is inside. And if I were to press it harder, it would explode with a very soft, sweet uh, fruit pulp. But all of these need to be blettered. Uh, and so I'm going to leave them for another week or so before I come back and do it. The only other fruit that I think is uh, treated in a similar kind of way is the way that I treat the quince here, which we also grow. And those have been harvested now and turned into our signature uh, jelly, which is quince and Earl Grey. So there's a lovely flavour of quince flavoured with bergamot. So you can come and look out for that. But these are going to stay uh, in the orangery here where they will continue to rot, be blettered for about another week or so. And then when you come back, I will show you how to make delicious meddler jelly. See you later. Uh, hello everybody and welcome back. So it is about a week later and here are my meddlers well and truly blettered or fermented or rotted, whichever way you want to uh, talk about it. Uh, not all of them have actually ripened. Some are still in their original kind of hard state, which is a good thing because meddlers don't have very much pectin. So uh, it's often difficult to get a good set on them. But if you have some unripe ones, then that helps. I've also been down into the orchard foraging uh, for what is left of the crab apples. There's not very many, but they will help with the pectin. Incidentally, I also found just five remaining uh, apples here, which are delicious Christmas pippins. They're a very new introduction and they're thought to be uh, better than a cox and have got no disease. So if you're looking for a tree, small tree, get a Christmas pippin. So here we are, the meddlers have blettered. And just to show you what happens when we open one, I'll just show you what's inside. Now it looks pretty gunky, doesn't it? But I'm going to taste it and just let you know what it tastes of. Mmm, well, it's complex. <laughs> complex. It's kind of apples with honey, a little plum, a uh, little pear, all sorts of delicious fruits. So what I'm going to do now is to cut them all open to help put them all in the jam pot together with the quince and uh, boil them up for about an hour, an hour and a half to create the liquor that we need to make the jam. So when we come back, we will finish this off.
yes, so it's very difficult to believe that this boiling cauldron of brown gunk is going to turn into the most fragrant, beautiful, dark ruby jelly, but it will. Right, okay, so this uh, Heath Robinson contraption here is great for me for straining the liquor. Um, I don't know where I got this idea from, probably my mother or my grandmother or somewhere. But anyway, I'm using butter muslin for the first straining, which is not so fine, I know. But for big quantities like this, then it is better for me to get the juice through and then to strain it for a second time uh, after we've got the majority of it going through. So when I've got all the liquor here and strained, then we boil it up and it's the usual quantity for a jelly, which is um, one litre of liquid, needs one kilogram of sugar, and then you're off and boil until there's a set. Um, but that's what I'm going to do now, strain all the liquor and then boil it up and make the jam. So see you later. So here it is, the final product, a jar of medlar jelly, beautiful, fragrant, deep ruby colour and lovely with cold meats or your Christmas dinner. Uh, so come and watch Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll find out when you can buy this. Bye for now.